So before we hear from Mayor Booker, it's my pleasure to introduce someone who is singularly adept at imagining better ways to govern, and better ways to think. Um, Senator Bill Bradley has worked tirelessly for what um, ought to be the state of a just society. Bill served, as you know, uh, as New Jersey's senator for 18 years. He's without doubt one of our country's most uh, brilliant students of public and private sector policy on a global plane. Uh, I had the pleasure of watching him play bas basketball, of interviewing him when I was a journalist, and getting to know him as I was building a business. And in all cases, he stood above the crowd. Senator Bradley. Very delighted to endorse his candidacy. I think he could, he could I think he can be a great United States Senator. He can put us in touch with our better selves. And so, as I said, it's a pleasure to endorse his candidacy for the U.S. Senate in New Jersey. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's an honor to stand here. And before I say a word about Bill, I just want to thank uh, everyone for coming. There's a lot of Newark residents here. There are a lot of people from all over the state. Uh, very humbly sitting in, in, the, in the seats over here is our county executive, Joseph DiVincenzo. I want to thank him for being here. I want to particularly give a thank, thankful uh, word to uh, my pastor who's over my left shoulder and is uh, a rock in my life and keeps my feet rooted in a spiritual foundation. Uh, but I want to now uh, just tell you how special this moment is for me to have Senator Bill Bradley stand before you all uh, and endorse my candidacy. Uh, I, am, I am more humbled by this moment and those words than, than, than you know. Uh, Bill Bradley was really my first model in public service that inspired in me the belief that politicians uh, can make a difference. He has unequivocally been one of my life's great mentors. Uh, it was a time in my life when I first really started reading about him, which was not in New Jersey. I was at Stanford University. And I read a speech he gave uh, in the Senate on race and race relations in America. If you remember, this is the time when we had the Rodney King trial and the riots in Los Angeles. And when I read the kind of compassion, understanding, and conviction to confront issues that politicians on the national level were not talking about, uh, it sealed him in my mind as a model to which I inspired to emulate. And the more I learned about Senator Bradley and having this star that once graced national headlines as a basketball player have such a common and humble touch uh, he was the model. When I first met him, uh, he and I were debating this, um, but I was invited to, all, uh, to see him on my way over to study in Oxford, and uh, I sat in his office, and I was so nervous uh, meeting Senator Bill Bradley in the United States Senate, my first visit ever to the United States Senate. And he put me at ease, talked to me, inspired me, told me funny stories of his days in Oxford. So I just want to say that from uh, the early 1990s until this moment, uh, Bill, you have been a source of inspiration to me, uh, example, and wisdom. But more than that, the great privilege of my life is to be able to stand here and tell you that Bill Bradley has been a friend, and the right kind of friend. Uh, some friends tell you what you want to hear, uh, but some, most the good friends are the ones that tell you what you need to hear. Uh, and I'll never forget last summer when Bill Bradley walked up to me without it, before even he gave me the greeting and said, Corey Booker? You need to lose weight. <laughs> Thank you, Bill, very much for this privilege. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> and still more to go. To me at the outset uh, that I acknowledge the service and the leadership of Senator Frank Lautenberg. Uh, as a senator and as a citizen, he has been one of the most impactful New Jerseyans. He was truly a giant in the United States Senate. He was a giant for our state and a giant for our nation. From his service in World War II to his assiduous work and advocacy in the United States Senate, we are blessed by his contributions. And I say confidently that generations yet unborn will feel the impact of his leadership and contributions. But I'm here today 
to officially announce my candidacy to be New Jersey's next United States Senator. This has been what I have done with others here in Newark. We didn't sit back spouting ideology from the bleachers or cheer for our team or jeer at others from the stands with passionate partisanship. No, we in Newark have been doing things differently. Now, if you're in the arena like me and others around you today, you know it's going to get messy. And they're going to be critics. Like the great American president said, it's not the critics who count, it's the ones that are actually in the arena. But I tell you this, I've got uh, to know a lot about criticism. I've heard it. Too much Twitter from the mayor. Too much exposure. Uh, there's not a criticism that I haven't heard over the years. I've heard it all. But there's one thing that everyone has to admit about my life as a professional from my days working in housing high-rises here in Newark as a tenant's rights attorney to my time as mayor is that I do not run from challenges. I run towards them. Over the past 15 years here in Newark with people, incredible people in this city, we've partnered with every sector of our community and with people from across the state and the nation to make a difference here in Newark. We took on the tough challenges, engaged in the difficult, complicated work, and together we have made real progress. Now that there is another city in America that needs some change. Too many have come to believe that Washington, D.C. is a place where nothing can get done where people don't work together, don't find compromise and common ground, don't make progress. And as I've heard from people all over our state, north to south, people believe that Washington is not a place that is sticking up for American families, taking on the difficult problems or improving the quality of life for our communities. This has to end. We in New Jersey see our economy starting to get better but not seeing enough good paying jobs that can support our families. New Jersey residents are hearing endless talk from their government, but not enough help in making ends meet, in expanding opportunity for their kids, and ensuring security for their retirement. And so I hear it all the time with increasing certainty and frustration. People say that Washington is a lost cause that D.C. is broken and the two sides are too far apart. I understand this skepticism. I really do. Uh, it's hard even to pick up a daily newspaper and not to feel somewhat skeptical about Washington, D.C. and our federal government. But I tell you today that I reject that attitude. And what's more important, years of living in New Jersey, 20 years growing up in one of its smallest suburban towns to now seven years being mayor of its largest city. I know this state and I know that we in New Jersey won't ultimately accept this attitude or reality, especially when we know we can do more, when we know we can do better, when we know we deserve better. I know the truth of who we are when we are together, and I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, especially here in New Jersey, that there is nothing, nothing we can't do together. It is not anymore a question of can we, it is a question of do we have the collective will. I am here because I believe that people who care can find solutions to even the most difficult problems. I am here because when we work together, I know from experience that there is no problem we can't solve. I'm here today because I know who we are and what we are capable of doing together for New Jersey and for our nation. This is the fight I will carry to Washington, our fight, our spirit, our guts, our grit, 
It is time to have more courage in DC to take on the big complicated problems, to take risks for the sake of our children and families, to have the needed valor, valor, to reach out across lines that divide, to join with others, and brick by brick, as we've done in Brick City, to build a stronger foundation for our future, for New Jersey, and for our nation. This is the kind of senator I will be. This is the kind of leadership that has made us great in the past. It's made all of us Jersey girls and Jersey boys. It's made us Jersey strong and Jersey proud. It runs deep and abundant north to south and all over the great state of New Jersey. I hope in this campaign for Senate that I will have your support. I hope to have the privilege of serving you, of serving New Jersey as the next senator. I want to thank you for those who have already put their faith in me, and I look forward to earning every single vote in our state. Thank you very much.